In this training, we're gonna take a look at the sub items field type inside of SmartSuite. So if that's of interest, stick around and let's get into it. Creating sub items inside of a SmartSuite record is really easy with the sub items field type. This allows us to create items inside of a record. It's almost like creating a record inside of a record and using it is pretty quick and easy. So let's go ahead and hop on into my screen and get started by adding a new field. I'll click on this plus and I'll start by typing sub items and it's one of those more advanced user types. I'll go ahead and make that selection and the first thing you'll notice is that I can choose what fields I want to display and the order of those fields. So by default for this particular field type, it's asking me the name, the description and a date and also to look at who first created this sub item and also who last updated this sub item. I can click on the gear icon here and take a quicker look at what that's going to look like and even add additional fields. Let's say I wanted to bring in a yes no field. I can simply add this. So I'm adding this field to my sub items list inside of a record. So it's very record inside of a record feel here. I have a sub item list that has these different fields and that sub item lives inside of my record. Let's go ahead and save this up just as we've created here. And I'm now going to add that field. Let's click there and it takes just a moment to create that. But now I see that I can click on any of these records. It's going to actually open up that record. And here I have the sub item field here. So I can add new items to that sub item. So let's say this is sub item one. I can write the description, add a date, yes or no, and add it. Once I've added it, I'm going to see that sub item here. You'll notice that I don't have any information into the first created or into the last updated fields within this sub item. And that's because of the fact that we haven't yet saved the record. So I can add additional sub items. Let's add some more. Here's sub item one or sub item two. And this one I'll say number two, just to fill it out a little bit more completely. And I'll bring a date in, click done and add that second sub item. I now have two items inside of this and I can mark that as saved. I'm now saving the record. And now what we see is that I have two sub items that live inside of this record. So if I ever want to access that again, simply open that back up. And now that I've saved this particular record, you'll see that these two sub items were created by me and last updated by me on this date. So lots you can do with the sub item. It allows you to create effectively records inside of your records and can get pretty complicated pretty quickly. If you have any questions about what we covered in this training, please ask them below in the comments section of this video. And until then, we'll see you in the next training.